Can I Kick It? This week on What's Your Fantasy Football Show, we're going to talk about the top 10 kickers in fantasy football in 2024 right after this. Hey, look. Ruining the dreams under pressure. Peachy be the one to bless ya, but don't test her. The queen reigns supreme. <laughs> you know what I mean? Add the boy Breezy Prince like a king. When the two come together in any weather, they form a bond, stay tight in any measure. So it's my pleasure. The number one team, let the world know what's your fantasy. What's going on, fantasy football world? It's your host, D. Wayne Breezy and Crystal Peachy B in the place to be. And on this week's episode, we are going to talk about the top 10 kickers. You don't want to overlook your kicker because they can get you some points that are much needed, right? They could put you over the top, right? So make sure you guys hit that like button, comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and feel free to become a member of the Breezy Punch crew. All right, Peachy, we got to kick off this episode with the kickers, top 10 kickers. Um, give me a surprise kicker upcoming this year that may not make our top 10 or maybe on the top 10 who who's the guy you got you're, you're, you're looking at oh wow uh let me see oh i can't think of his name but what, what team the rams who is the rams kicker because gay is in is in uh is in indianapolis right, right. Oh, is it is it Brett Mayer? Oh no, they drafted a rookie. Yeah, they drafted I Joshua Cardi, and then they have Brett Mayer still on the roster. Okay, we'll see. Will it will will their drafted kicker be somebody? He ain't gonna make our list. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> but again, you know, it's, it's just something. Peachy said, "Watch out for him." That's what she said. Watch out. Let's get to the top ten kickers. Peachy's gonna kick us off with number ten. You got Tyler Bass out of Buffalo. Let me just say this before you talk, because this is your this is your theory guy. Beware. I'll leave it at that. Okay, go ahead, Peachy. Uh, <laughs> Tyler Bass. He did make the top ten, though. Yeah, I mean, Tyler Bass made the top ten. I feel like that this year with this offense, the way that it's looking and Lord bless their defense that they have. I think Bass is going to get a lot of opportunities to, to put up some points and, and kick. A lot of people don't value kickers that much. You should, because <laughs> he, he could like, there could be a game where he could, could have to kick, just a whole lot a lot of field goals they add up they add up really fast so i like my dude bass man he's number 10 and you know i said yeah. beware not because he misses because he's in our top 10 he was mm -hmm. an 82.8 percent kicker i said beware because he only had 29 attempts i need him to have 45 i need more attempts now i know it's gonna be hard to play for the buffalo bills and they probably score a lot of touchdowns but that was the thing and 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 he had 29 which is not too far from his 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 season high at 34 attempts okay uh but when you look what i'm looking at kickers when i'm looking at draft kickers i look for a couple of statistic categories i look to see where the majority of their kicks are right um and he kicks more in the 30 to 39 range he made 12 of 13 but he was four for six from from the 40 to 49 range and four from six from 50 plus five i mean 50 yard field goals give you five points 40 yard field goals give you four 30s give you three i think everything else gives you three too right like i think it's three that i don't remember what 20 to 29 gives you i want to say that gives you three too it's because it's the field goal so uh, from from zero to 39 you get three points if you make it right so you want to look at these kickers when you're drafting kickers you want to make sure that they're kicking the ball you know from a little further like them 40 yards i, I start at the 40. speaking of matt gay he is number nine and i get him from the indianapolis colts uh he was the former rams kicker um look 
I'm, t- I'm just going to read you his stats, and y'all can agree or disagree uh, with 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 Matt Gay uh, because it's up you know it's up to y'all. But he uh, let's see in 2023 he was an 80.5 percent field goal kicker. He had 41 attempts and he made 33 of them. So I'm going to need him to be a little bit more accurate. But listen, anything peachy over 80 percent is good in my book. That's how I look at it. Anything over 80 percent. 13 of his attempts though were from 50 plus he made eight of those so that's you know that's how many points he got eight times five you know whatever uh he was a hundred per- oh no he wasn't he was seven for nine from the 40 uh for 40 to 49 so this is a guy that's going to get the longer field goal attempts and he pretty much knocks him in uh for the indianapolis coast and he should be because he kicks don't they kick in a dome when they're at home yes yeah so he better not be missing at home i can tell you that right now all right so number nine matt gay from the indianapolis Colts. peachy you get number eight you get my guy jake moody (laughs) from michigan you better do him some justice here didn't matt gay have that long long field goal that he made last year that everybody could not stop talking about wasn't that him? so freaking lutely that's exactly what i thought it was anything 50 plus Mm -hmm. though so even mm-hmm. if it was a 60 yard, it's only five points. Yeah. I believe in the NFL. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Um, Jake Moody, Jake the Snake Moody. <laughs> 84% field goal kicker, though, by the way. Just want to put that out there because I know a lot of people are going to be like, Ur? but go ahead. Jake Moody gets more chances than you would think to kick you think field so? goals. You think so? He only had 25 attempts. That's crazy. It seemed like he had so many more. He okay. did. 25. He was 21 <laughs> for 25. His long was 57. And we're not talking the playoffs. We're only talking regular season. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's that's really crazy. It he, really seemed like it was more. But, yeah. That's good. I'm looking for good things from this dude in year two. <laughs> so, year let's... Two. Let's... No sophomore I'm, slump for Jake Moody. Right, right. No, no sophomore slump coming here, and I feel like that that his his kicking is is getting better and better and better, and I look for big things from Mister Jake Moody this year. I like that. We're gonna take a trip down to South Florida and Miami, where my man Mister Sanders. All right, Jason Sanders is our number seven kicker on the list all right he's number seven on the list and and let's just see man how accurate was mr sanders in 2023 he was 24 for 28 he's pretty accurate uh he's jake moody numbers like literally like he was a little bit higher he was 85.7 percent field goal kicker uh, he made five of his 50 pluses, six of his 40 to 49s. He was 100% from 30 to 39 and 100% from six, uh, from 20 to 29. Jake Moody might, I mean, Jason Sanders might be one of those kickers people are tending to forget about. Uh, you might want to pick him up uh, in your fantasy football league, uh, you know, especially as that last pick. People, there's going to be a run on pickers, kickers. I don't pick kickers until my last pick. That's just always been my thing. I don't know if anybody else does. I, I'm sure there's one kicker people are drafting round two, and I get it. But that's that's to each their own. Like, you know, Jason Sanders, anything you want to say about Mr. Sanders not related to Colonel Sanders? I do agree with you to say that, that he slept on and you can't do that. I actually drafted him close to the bottom, but – um, I got him whenever the run on kicker started. I think it was like the second to the last round or something. But don't sleep on Sanders because he he is a really good kicker. And you just never know. Like Breezy was reading his stats. So he's he's capable of getting you a lot of points. And he could be a, a game saver for the Dolphins. They may have a game where they play this year. They play some pretty tough defenses. It, he may be kicking quite a bit. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Number six, Young Ho Koo. Is he injured? I believe he is right now. I I I, I, you know, I tell you what. I don't know if he's injured, but I know 
I felt like he had a bad game in the preseason. Like he missed like everything. I think I can't remember which one it was. Like I, we do so much football stuff. Anyway, he's still a top ten kicker in my book. Peachy, talk a little bit about you, Mister Cool. Young, young way cool. Something young way cool. Did you know he was drafted to the Chargers? I never knew that. Oh, dang! I, I never knew. Didn't he know for that either. I Sorry, wonder. I got his name wrong too. Young way cool. Well, Thank apparently, you. if he's not there, then that means that he must not have, have been very good for the Chargers. He might, he might not have been drafted, but that was where he played his 2017 year. <laughs> so I take that back. He might not have been drafted. But, but he, he didn't stay with himself. the Chargers. Which, no, you know. he didn't. Kickers, punters, <laughs> they get shifted around. But he found a home in Atlanta. That's what's most yes. important. And last year is where he did damage. I mean, this dude was 10 for 10. 20 for 29 10 for 10 30 from 39 he was 9 for 11 40 from 49 he was 50 percent three for six from the 50 plus so he's not gonna he's not really accurate on a 50 plus field goals his long goal was a 54 all right and he was an 86.5 percent kicker this 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 kid young way cool peachy is 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 pretty damn consistent back-to-back -back seasons he kicked 86.5 percent in back-to-back -back seasons peachy he absolutely is and when he is healthy he's he's a really good kicker so if you can get him in in fantasy you definitely need to get him and do they, they kick in a dome too right yes yeah uh pay attention to the dome kickers there's no wind uh let, let that let that uh sink in for a second of course i gotta always why do i get the eagles and the cowboys you know why do i get elliot isn't the name jordan elliot why do i get mr elliot anyway mr elliot from <laughs> from the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, Jake Elliott is his name. Jordan Elliott plays for the 49ers. Uh, that tells you that the Niners are always on my mind. But Mr. Jake Elliott from the Philadelphia Eagles, in my opinion, is a pretty damn good kicker. Pretty solid kicker. He does play in the elements uh, on the East Coast. Uh, so that's something you got to pay attention to when you're drafting kickers. But if you want to know how well he kicks in the elements, he's a 93.8% kicker. Um, and I think, in my opinion, PG, he kicked a 61-yard field goal last year. Yeah, this uh, this lovely smile on his face is because he just got extended with some <laughs> big <laughs> kicker money. <laughs> he got the big bucks to ching. <laughs> well deserved though he is one of the top kickers in in the league and also in fantasy so you definitely do not want to pass by mr jake elliott if he's still there when you're picking them be grateful that he's there because oh, yeah, yeah, he's really good he is really good right but you piss me off because i believe for one week i feel like jake moody had the longest kick in the nfl and then this dude messed it up it might, it might even been in the same week now that I think about it. That's right. Six. I remember. <laughs> Mr. Jake Elliott. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's crazy, right? It's, it's crazy to me. Um, but, oh, well, this is a guy you're going to want on your team for sure. All right. Moving on, um, I think I get a kicker out of Houston that, you know, we could talk a little bit about. Um, Peace, you want to say his name for me? Kai, what, what, is, what is his name? I believe it's Kayimi Fair Fairbarn, I think. Fair Barn. I, I, I don't want to get his name wrong. I know I the know. first name is Kayimi because How do you I get the first name right, and that's the hardest name I to know. pronounce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like how you get the first name. All right. I know is that Mr. Fairburn or Fairborn or whatever is is a really really good kicker for the houston texans definitely a top kicker in this fantasy draft for this year he gets quite a few opportunities not as many opportunities as i'm sure he would like <laughs> because his quarterback is touchdown he had, 20, he had, he had 28 opportunities mm -hmm. okay he was peachy he should be the number one kicker. This dude was 27 for 28. Mm -hmm. He was five for six from 50 yards. He only missed one 50-yarder. 
Yo, he was a 96.4% kicker. Uh, this might want to be your number one kicker now that I'm watching the show and doing the show live with my co-host here. I might We might have made a boo-boo, but it's okay. <laughs> we got him at number six, I believe. Uh, and we're going to keep him there. We just move on. We'll move on. Because, <laughs> this, because this kid right here is, I think, going to be, you know, a, a, a sleeper. We don't have him at number six. I'm sorry. We got him at number four. And so he didn't make our top three, but we better have a really good explanation from this Mr. Uh, Mr. Aubrey kid, right? Right? That's how you say his name? Yes, Aubrey. That's correct. Okay. So let's talk about this kid from Dallas while I look up his stats. Okay. Mr. Brandon Aubrey. So Jesus. Fairburn, of course, is as awesome as Breezy has told you, but like, Aubrey is is nothing to overlook he's three for he's three for a reason right like, like right he's three <laughs> he's three for a reason on our list right yes he long, is long 60. Mm -hmm. yes okay his That's long is right. 60. okay peachy mm -hmm. he might should he should be number one no i i i, I it's going to change every time we get to the top three <laughs> He should be number one. Here, here mm -hmm. he was ten for ten from fifty yard lines. Ooh, he should be number one. This dude missed from thirty to thirty nine yards twice. He had thirty eight attempts. He was thirty six for thirty eight. The top three gonna be solid. See, this is why Fear Barn didn't make the top three. He was number four. PG. I'm trying to tell you, this is gonna be solid. Brandon Aubrey may be the number one kicker. And fantasy football, who in the hell is number two? Ha. Ah. No. Nah, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. You got you gotta talk about Mr. Buck Kiss. You gotta talk about him. Harrison Bucker. I'm gonna let you talk about him too. I'm not gonna talk about him. He also missed two last year. Okay. So fantasy wise, Harrison Bucker. You definitely want to draft him if you have the opportunity to draft them, him because he is a really good kicker, rarely misses. And I believe his longest was, what was his longest? It was a, in 2023, it was a 60-yard field goal. That's what I thought. Yes. He had a 60-yarder. Uh, and I like how you said and in, in football, He's that guy, and and he's a, there's a reason why he's number two. Um, he just got paid to, I believe, or extended with the Kansas City Chiefs. They That's got right. him a kicker. Um, this dude has he was five for five from fifty plus. And he's not he's not he's not he's not Aubrey ten for ten, but he's five for five. He's a ninety four point three percent guy. All all the top three top four guys are in that ninety percentile when it comes to kicking. So. You know, when you when you can line up and have a six and make a sixty yard attempt and get you five plus six points, whatever in fantasy football, that's what you need. You, you, you know, your team ain't got to score when your kicker can get you six. You know what I'm saying? So I, you look at it like that. So if he is number two, Mr. Bucker, who's number one, Peachy? It would have to be it. It better be. McPherson out of Cincinnati. Uh, what? Mm -mm. He didn't make our top 10. Oh. I, did he wow. the GOAT? I can't leave the GOAT off. You can't leave the GOAT off the oh, list. Of course. Of course not. <laughs> Wait a minute. So if, if McPherson was left off the list and y'all feel some type of way about that, <laughs> let us know in the comment section. Uh, we ain't putting him on our list, but let us know why he should be on the list. It's Justin Tucker. Until he retire, he the best kicker in football until he starts missing. Excuse me. I meant to say it like that. Until he starts to prove that he can't hit these field goals. Now, he did miss five last year, and his long is only a 51. But you know what it is when it comes to him? Like, when he gets the attempt, it's almost damn near automatic. Like, you know what I mean? It's almost autom automatic. And 
you know what? All four misses, Peachy, were from 50 yard plus. So he, let's maybe he's just not a 50 yard kicker anymore. That's completely understandable. And I do agree that he's number one. I am just going to be salty like a lot of people. They're probably going to leave some comments <laughs> as to how we could leave McPherson off of this top 10. But, guys, so when you are commenting I'm a, I'm a, about I'm a, that. I'm going to tell you how, too. Here we go. 83.9% kicker. Okay. All right. He was only 26 for 31. He was worse than Brock. He was, excuse me, not Brock Purdy. He was worse than Jake Moody. He was worse than Matt Gay. Okay. This is why I don't care if he got paid a lot of money. <laughs> all right. Now, he is seven for 12 from the 50 yard plus. All right. He missed five. His five misses were from 50 plus. His long was a 56, which is still less than Jake Moody. That's why he not on this list. And Moody was eight. So you could come at me all y'all want. But I'm going to tell you right now, McPherson may get honorable mention. He should be. 11. <laughs> Justin if Tucker's you, number one. If you have comments about it, then be sure and tell us who you would take off the list and replace McPherson with that person. Because I would love to know who would you move off the list? And for God's sakes, please don't let it be Brock because Breezy might Not actually Brock, come. Jake. <laughs> or uh, Jake, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Please do not let it be Jake because Breezy might actually come to your home and pay you a visit if you Just replace saying, him with McPherson. I could travel. I could travel. <laughs> I could travel with the with the with the artillery. It could go on the airplane. I'm just playing. Nah, serious though. Like it, it, it I, I I feel like Jake would be safe because he was eight. You gotta look at nine and ten off this list. Just a quick recap of who our guys were. Tucker was one, Bucker was two, Aubrey was three. Fairburn was four, Elliot was five, uh, Koo was six, uh, Sanders was seven, eight was Moody, nine gay, ten bass. So was he better than bass? I don't think so. Was he better than gay? Possibly, but then I would move bass up and then put maybe McPherson 10 and take off. I don't know. I don't know how they want to do it out there. But either way, let us know what you guys think in the comment section. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if it's your first time watching. Make sure you check out one of those cool other top 10 videos for the other positions groups that we have done right here. On behalf of What's Your Fantasy Show, your host, Crystal PGB, myself, The Wayne Breezy, thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, we'll see you out there. NFL fantasy footballers, get ready. This season is about to be underway. Hey, look. Ruin.